Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin. James 4.17 Hey there, teens, Trent here. Go ahead and open up your Bible to James chapter 4, verse 13. James chapter 4, verse 13. As you turn there, let me tell you the story. Before I left for my second semester at Golden State, I stood up at the pulpit of Elmwood Baptist Church, and I told everyone, I won't be back until August. That's not how it turned out. I came back in March. What happened? Well, just God didn't will it. God didn't will that I be back in August. It was his will that I got back in March. You see, I had a plan, and I was determined that is what is going to happen. And James addresses that here. Verse 13. Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow, we will go into such a city, and continue there a year, and buy and sell, and get gain. James is most likely talking to wealthy merchants in this part of scripture. You see, he's criticizing them for making such deterministic plans of their future. Notice all these statements that they make. We will go into such a city. We will continue there a year. We will buy. We will sell. And we will get gain. They were determined. This is what is going to happen. Well, look at this next verse. Verse 14. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time, and then vanisheth away. They made a year-long plan, but in reality, they didn't even know what was going to happen the next day. Read what James has to say about that in verse 15. For that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. James said, you need to consider the Lord's will. They came in boasting about all their wills. We will do this. We will do that. We will do this. We will do that. But then James comes in and almost asks, yeah, but what about the Lord's will? Teens, I want you to recognize two things about verse 15. First, recognize the Lord's will through possibility. You see, just like these dealers shouldn't be betting on tomorrow, we shouldn't be betting on tomorrow either. It could be the Lord's will that Jesus will come before tomorrow does. So don't set your hopes on what tomorrow will give. Set your hopes on what God will give. Secondly, recognize God's will despite possibility. Read that portion of scripture again. If the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. You see, these rich men, they were determined to get a prophet. But what if God didn't want them to get a prophet? What if God wanted them to give all of their profits to the poor? You see, these men wouldn't do that because they were determined they were going to get what they wanted, no matter what God said. Now, teens, consider yourself. You made all these plans. I will go to this college. I will do this for a job. But what if God doesn't want you to do that? What if that's not God's will? You see, it's completely possible for you to do that, but you never ask God for permission. You never ask God if that's what he truly wants you to do. Now read verse 16. But now ye rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. They were proud and excited over something that they might not even get or over something that God didn't want them to have. And so, James concludes with verse 17. Therefore to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. Whatever you need to do right now, do it. Because you may not have tomorrow to do that. Sure, I'll witness to him uh, tomorrow. Sure, I'll pray for you tomorrow. No, tomorrow may never come. Do it now. Do whatever you need to do now. To those of you who are just dead set in your plans, God may want something else from your life. And if you know what that good thing is and you refuse to do it, that's sin. Or if you just don't know what that good thing is and you don't care what that good thing is, that's also sin. You need to constantly give all of your plans over to God and be asking him, is this your will? So teens, as you just go throughout your entire life, constantly say, if the Lord will. Then you say, does God will? 
Well, teens, that's all that I have for you today. But I hope that you take this message to heart and you will be constantly considering what God's will is. And you'll find something that you need to do and you'll do it right now. But I hope to see you all in church sometime soon. And Lord willing, that time will be soon. So y'all stay safe. Take care.